All right, we are going to get things going here because I still have a decent amount to do when it comes to roster construction. Uh, because again, we are uh, we're in trouble with the salary cap. We are in trouble. Um, any player that you see here that has a multi-year deal where the Y button does not pop up at the bottom of the screen means their contract has already been restructured. Jay Williams uh, has had his deal restructured. There was somebody else, too. Obviously, now um, the values would have dropped a little bit. Bart Flowers, who we signed in free agency, his deal has been restructured. Uh, God, who else? There was someone else. Cameron Walton has had his deal restructured. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see if we can actually put together the type of team that we want to put together, but pretty much I have to get to the end of the preseason to do it so that I can drop certain people down to the practice squad, save out on a little bit of money there. So that is that is the game plan. I did go ahead and solve quite a few problems with the roster. Um, at quarterback, we've brought in noted Super Bowl winner Sam Darnold to probably be our backup this year. Unless it ends up being Maurice Smith. Again, we took a pretty big hit at backup quarterback. Uh, running back, not sure what we're going to do because we ended up with uh, Glenn Reynolds, who does have a dev pattern. But obviously we have Walton and Nash, so when the hell is that guy going to play? Wide receiver core, though, looks awesome with Henry, Bush, Macklin, and Dalton leading the way. And at tight end, we moved Bryce Wells back from wide receiver, and he is now an 88 overall. Not going to be able to pull off that combination for long. But it's beautiful while it's there. So we'll see how this plays out. I do hope in some ways this is our final season. Because if it's not, this could end up being a really, really long challenge for us. I hope this is it. Crash Andrews, you sweet, beautiful Mandrews. How the heck are you, my friend? I saw that you were streaming all of two minutes before I went live because I missed the tweet. But hello, sir. Hello. The old man raid. I, I like I like Crash being in his like, ah, I'll stream whatever I want to, you damn kids phase. That's fun. You know, it's fun. Oh, God. Training camp. Can I be asked? Can I be asked? Don't get me wrong, skill points can be real nice. Ugh. I can't be asked right now. <laughs> I can't. The, the reason why is one, most of the games I've discovered I'm not good enough to get golds on. And two, I'm going to have to do those every single year without fail for the UDFA challenge. So you could say, hey, well, here's your practice. But at the same time, man, it's like, oh, my God, there's just, ugh. There's just, there's only so much time in a day. Do I want to train up some of these other younger guys? I'm not sure. Good time to get a look at that new wide out. You're not wrong. He was the one in particular that I was intrigued by. Let's see. Let's go for people who are under the age of 25. Quarterback Dennis Payne in there. The Dippin' Dots. Crash Andrews. Can't be an ongoing oh, thing. Oh, Crash. You fella. You fella, you. You're delightful, and we love you. For once a month streams, twitch.tv forward slash Crash Andrews. <laughs> oh, goodness. I guess we'll get Ringer in there. That's fine. We'll start off with that group there for the moment. I hate that they took the XP amount uh, per player on the selection screen. Eh. I don't disagree, but also at the same time, eh. Uh, so, Alex, we, we were very aggressive at the draft. We traded up to get the third overall pick, took a very, very good wide receiver, and now have all the cap issues in the world that we're trying to deal with. But that was the, that was the point. Stock up the team as good as we possibly could. And then try to win this year. And you know what? Screw it. I have been coerced into trying this damn challenge with Marco Macklin. Ho! Oh, get juked. That better count for a 200. Thank you. 
And yeet it. A another 200. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeet it. Hell yeah, brother. How is that not a 300? Robbery. Staunch, disgusting robbery. That time it counted. Ain't that a bitch. I hit a 350 passing under with 351 and it didn't give it to me. Mm. Yeah, that happens on occasion. That's insane. How the hell did he knock that out? I hate these challenges. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh my god, he didn't even look. I swear. The challenges are fun, but they're not all. Oh, and of course, he just. Okay, yep, I'm done. I'm done. These aren't as fun as they used to be. And I don't know why. But for some reason, I just. I don't recall having as much fun on these versions of the skill games as I used to have back in the day. I don't know why. We did get an upgrade point, though, so I guess I might as well. Uh, might as well just go for it. How early am I waking up tomorrow? Pretty early is my guess. Pretty early. Um, I'm aiming to be able to see the pre-show, but we'll see what happens. a boy, Henry. a boy, what's a playoff from without cap issues? That's true. Surgery went well. I get to enjoy two weeks of crutches. Hey, I mean, crutches are... You know, crutches are more fun than a wheelchair. As someone who had to do the wheelchair before crutches... Son of a bitch! Attaboy, Bush! We needed that. We needed that. Well, Henry didn't exactly run his route, but that's okay. Made it work. And we find the Montague! Oh my god, what a throw. That was... That was spicy. Had a boy. Oh, Dalton. Jesus Christ. Who hit him? You're cut. You're not allowed to hit my boy like that. Big Bush. Nope. Didn't happen. The Bush. That's picked. <laughs> that was a muffin. Hockey guy, what's up? Why are we hitting that hard in practice? Trying to make the team. Gah. Oh, what a grab. You love to see it. Zach Henry. Sweet, beautiful man that he is. Montague! Yeah. We might be able to get a silver on this. Ow! That was way too tight of a window to try to put that ball through. <laughs> oh, man. Ha! That a boy, Bush. Oh, and that's the last. Though. We got a bronze. Cool. Well, could have gone better. I'm officially no longer interested in doing these challenges. <laughs> we got a silver, and I'm like, hey, shit, maybe this will be fun. I get a bronze. Nope, I'm out. So let's start going through these preseason games. Like I said, this roster is not finalized yet. Oh, goodness. And we did lose our first preseason game. You hate to see that. You hate to see that. But yeah, it's going to be... Gonna be a little bit tough to fully lock down this roster the way that we typically do with the depth that we typically have. But we did what we had to do for our stream of those challenges in the UDFs. <laughs> God. And one stream is just gonna be training camp with those lower rated players. It's gonna be awful. It's going to be absolutely awful, isn't it? If someone picks up an injury here, in the preseason. So we take on Kurt Slater and the Dolphins. Because why would it not be Kurt Slater and the Dolphins? Look at all these upgrade points, which is beautiful. Who is the injury and is it overly serious is the question. We have lost Jeff Okuda for the season. Fuck. 
And all of a sudden, that real strength in the secondary isn't looking so strong. That is a major, major loss at corner. <sighs> okay, well, that's an extra hurdle that we have to overcome here in terms of setting up this team. Um, we are going to drop Johnny Davis to the practice squad. Get rid of that contract. We're going to try to still run with three and four, I hope. Got our fullback, got our wideouts. At tight end, I'm trying to decide if Beckett's worth keeping the build up. I don't know if I can carry four tight ends. Um, on the O-line, we did sign Adonis Gibson. We could save a little bit of money. He's not that much better than Cole Reynolds, who is a practice squad guy. It's probably not worth keeping Adonis on the team. Um, we'll go ahead and release him and get that cap space back. I didn't close the prediction. You're right, I didn't. Well, there you go. Uh, obviously, we don't need a mentor in the role. I mean, Colton Miller's the mentor. Uh, left guard Jay Williams, so we can sign a rando. A rando left guard to fill out the team. Holy centers. I mean, we might as well keep Connor Kincaid as the backup. So, Eddie Hopkins. Go ahead and drop you. Of course, we drafted a ton of centers last year and practice squatted like all of them. Damian Dunlap. Go ahead and move on from you. And again, we'll be freeing up uh, a little bit of money here and there. I have no idea what the hell we're going to do at corner now, though. That. Mm. Move on to guard. I am just going to sign somebody else. They might end up being a little bit more expensive than the player here, but I do feel like I want a, a little bit better depth. Playing Seattle in 30 th 33rd team expansion. Add a Quebec, the Atlantic. You went free agency. You got Evan Bouchard for a second lap. Who should I keep? <laughs> Depends on whose rosters you're using. If you're using mine, you can't go wrong because Beneers and Wright both turn into monsters. So <laughs> uh, we need a rando mentor right guard. Proctor's 28, yeah. And then at right tackle, we need a rando mentor right tackle. My rosters, I mean, if you can only keep one of Beneers or Wright. Probably keep Beneers. Keep both if you can. Is my suggestion. Because they always do really, really well. Uh, defensive end. We need a mentor left end. We can keep Quincy DuBose. Hopefully. We, can, we need a mentor right end for Forrest. Um, we need a mentor defensive tackle for DeAndre McGee. Linebacker, Saucedo. We got Fuller. So again, a mentor. Linebacker. Middle linebacker. Same thing. Mentor. On the right is Fowler. Glenn Parks has a dev pattern. Be nice to keep him. Then at corner, it's a good thing we have Deshaun Mooney because he's now in that three spot. We need one good corner and one mentor. Go for a mentor free safety. And a mentor strong safety as well. Our kicker this year is still Evan McPherson. Our punter once again is Blake Gillikin. <sighs> All right. Do we have the cap space? Pull this off. It shows us with $5 million in space. So I guess technically, even though Okuda's done for the year, we still have to pay for him. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, that sucks. The LTIR doesn't work like it does in hockey. Oh, it's a nightmare. Okay. Uh, we need a rando left guard. I mean, I'd love for it to be Cody Mouch, but it, it can't be. It's got to be. It's got to be some half decent rookie. Um, Jesus. He is on IR. I have the, I have the thing set up that way. Um, I mean, Middleton, you're more expensive than I want you to be. Ech. Ech. 
We might as well go dirt cheap with like Mark Butler. We might as well. Because obviously like Mark Butler won't play in that position if someone gets hurt. We literally just need someone on the roster. Uh, we need a mentor right guard. Who's the oldest? Who's the oldest and the cheapest? We are going to go with Phil Haynes. Phil. Welcome to the team. We are going to be so freaking cash strapped here. I'm going to have to recon you know, reconstruct a couple of different contracts or restructure, whatever the hell the word is. We need a mentor right tackle. We'll go for uh, Chuk. <laughs> I was never able to pronounce Chukwuma. Oh, Okrafor. Because whenever I see Okrafor, I always want to think of Mecca Okrafor. So that I'm going to go with Spencer Brown. <laughs> Why not? How much of a fool do I need to make out of myself? Let's just bring in Spencer Brown. Uh, we need a mentor. Edge rusher. Let's go for Jerry Tillery. We're already getting super low on money here. Oh, boy. I do have other players on the roster I still can put in the uh, on the practice squad there. Um, let's bring in DeForest Buckner. Have you ever seen a player higher than Star Dev? I've been up on the free agent list. I could have sworn in prior years we've seen superstars end up go undrafted. Could have sworn. For the most part, it is Star Devs, though, that you have to try to build up. So I still have eight players I need to sign. Let me see what I can do here. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Okay. At linebacker, we know we can drop Jose Michaels, but then again, he's hurt for another week. I can move him to the practice squad, though, even though he's injured. So that's good. That actually helps a lot. That helps a lot. Uh, on the right, we can move Maxwell Norton out, who we just took in the draft, who's, I mean, okay. UDFA challenge, he'd be good to build around here. Eh. Uh, and then Ronald Riddick was also a missed draft pick. He was 24. It was always likely that he was going to be bad. And again, we know Okuda's already on the IR. At least he should be. Yeah, he is. Oh, Okuda being out for the year is rough. Uh, George Osgood to get you onto the practice squad. Save that money. And then Keenan Alexander, we can get rid of you too. We won't save anything though. Boris, what's going on? Good to see you. We're definitely going to have to restructure a contract or two. Further than what we've already done, because we have already restructured a few. We're showing up with $3 million in cap room. That'll be enough for two to three more signings. And then we're going to have to restructure another deal just to make this team work. Unbelievable. I need a mentor on the right. Who's the cheapest? Should be Travis Gibson. And it is. Mr. Gibson. Welcome in. We need a mentor. That linebacker. Cheapest one. And I guess we'll go for Davis Gaither. Works for me. And we are out of money again. With still uh, six players needing to be signed. This is bad news, man. This is real bad news. We have we have pushed this team to the brink in terms of the salary structure. This this needs to be the year. So in terms of who the highest paid is, we're gonna have to restructure the contract of Chest Williams. It'll only free up 1.57 in space. Shit. Williams is already restructured. 2.1 for Harris. Ridley's 2.7. Reed, 2.87. Henry doesn't get us that much. Flowers was already restructured. 
Okuda's not even playing. All right, there's not too much of a drastic difference. Uh, we'll have Chess to restructure his contract. A $66 million cap penalty is wild, isn't it? Isn't it? And that is because we, uh, we cashed out on a lot of players when we probably shouldn't have. But I knew I wanted to utilize the depth that we had. They had to go for financial reasons, but at the same time in Madden and in the NFL, that causes further financial issues. It was uh, it was a risk. It was a risk. Uh, middle linebacker. We need a mentor. Let's go for Bobby Okor or Okarik, uh, who is the cheapest option there. Okay, we just need a mentor in that role. Oh my God, this is going to be close. This is going to be real close, money wise. Uh, we need a mentor on the right side. We'll go for Uchen and Owosu. We need a quote, a good corner. We're not going to find that. We don't have the money for that. We do need a mentor at corner, which will be not, will not be Ben. Oh, shit. Uh, that'll be Sean Murphy Bunting as the mentor. Oh, God. Well, I think we're just going to be able to make this work. Just. <sighs> I have never had a team so cash-strapped like this one. So quickly as well. We uh, we were fine, and then this year I said we're going for it. So we'll restructure the deal of Ridley. Uh, Lonnie Reed gets a restructured deal as well. But yeah, $67 million cap penalty for some of the moves that we made. I did my best to avoid major cap penalties for this entire run, but this was the time. All right, we need a mentor in each safety position. Will Blankenship count? No, he will not. Uh, so we'll go for John Johnson the third because his name is John Johnson. We fixed the yellow line. Uh, it's about the same, but it's it's in a decent spot. And technically, we did bring in a, a decent free agent. Uh, we need a veteran here. Or cheap we'll go for go for Terrell Edmonds all right now we need a corner either the best corner that we can get or if there's a UDFA who might be half decent like Josh Clements there's a couple of guys in the mix here that might be half decent they would need a starting dev though because, oh man, it's tough though. Having to rely on a breakout right now at corner. Corner is such a tough position to get that breakout. It really is. What about Deontay Campbell? Yeah, all those guys are normal. The 22-year-olds aren't bad, but who's the best corner we can bring in right now? Legereus Sneed. It's also Jamison Porter. How good is Jamison Porter? UFAs are capable of... Well, it'll show their devs, but they won't be hidden. They would have been. Uh, Coco, I am. I am. I just hope I wake up on time. We should get to flip the free agents faster. Again, all they need is to show the dev pattern and all that blank blue space. Uh, we're going to send the offer to veteran Legereus Sneed. We can't afford him now. We probably restructured one deal too many, but that's, that's tomorrow's issue. <laughs> Hopefully it's the next GM's issue, because hopefully we're out of here after this season following a championship win. <laughs> Although I, I have to admit, seeing how we could make this team work in future seasons would certainly be interesting. Uh, Squishy, I haven't missed much. We're just trying to actually get this roster in working order. So there's a running back we can cut. There's a tight end that we can cut.
There is a linebacker, ideally, that we could get rid of. Not necessarily ideal, though. I mean, I'd like to think these two guys would still be affected by Okarik there. Again, the problem is Okuda takes up a spot, but we can go one, two, three, and we can cut Murphy Bunting now because we ended up signing Sneed. Sneed fills two roles, being a mentor and actually being a usable option for us this year. We still have to get rid of two people. We could cut Maurice Smith, the quarterback, and honestly, I think we will. We're going to try to carry two quarterbacks this year instead of three. Bit of a risk, but we can adjust if need be. And I got to get rid of one more person here. Again, I prefer it to not be Glenn Reynolds, but I don't see when the hell we're going to be able to let this guy play. He had a hidden dev pattern, but when the hell are you going to play behind the other two guys that we have? You know? When... And then Beckett could be improved at tight end, but when the hell are you even going to play? Beckett was normal dev, though. So we're going to move Anthony Beckett to the practice squad. That should get us down to 53 on the roster. Somehow, some way, we are cap compliant with $5 million to spare after those other practice squad options. So we could potentially at the deadline look for something else. But we, ooh, Devin Fowler, two upgrade points before you play your first regular season game. You are not good from a coverage perspective, and you're so bad at it, you'll never be good at it. So is it impossible to carry back up at every position? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You do kind of have to know what you're aiming to do though like sometimes you have to pick a job I mean technically I feel like kick or punter fullback it's not worth it Let's make chest a little bit better still in 86 is this going to be the year and if it isn't my goodness my goodness the consequences could be absolutely massive Dennis Payne up to an 85 still an X factor of course Gets a new ability slot, the 24-year-old out of Mizzou. Adds no-look Deadeye. Perfect accuracy on all crossbody throws up to 20 yards. Whew. Okay. He's got some pretty good abilities. How'd you get a guy named Chest? We renamed him. It's a, it's a joke that evolved throughout this, uh, throughout this franchise. Gonna make Nash better as a receiving back because he was very, very good last year in that regard. He came up with a couple of huge catches. Uh, new linebacker Manny Saucedo was also an X factor. Very good in pass coverage, which is nice. 82 overall for him. Uh, Marco Macklin, before he ever plays a regular season game for us, rocking an 81. The third overall pick. Hoping he'll be an X Factor out of the gate. And then our veterans can be auto upgraded. So, <sighs> Atlanta in week one. Shout out to Woke Cake Boss Jr. Big fan of your dad. Um, oh, God. I think we're good. I think we're good. We do still have to reorganize the depth chart and such, but 88 overall, man. If this isn't the year, then what year? When will it be the year when this when this stops happening? The hell is this? Rocking the freaking 90s fringe.